one in nine. Thanks to you, that's how many people we were able to care for here in Travis County. Welcome to our fiscal year 2022 kickoff. Because of your efforts, we have a great story to tell. I'm Mike Gieslin, and this is By the Numbers with your colleagues. We've given out 250,000 masks and 50,000 PPE kits to help combat COVID-19. Yes, this year, since the opening of the Northeast Health Resource Center, we have given out 9,200 diapers. We've received over 2,000 applications online for MAP or MAP Basic at applyformap.net. My number is 1,190. That's how many devices we have purchased and deployed throughout the enterprise for fiscal year 2021. 2,456 phone calls were made to MAP members in regards to COVID and basic needs resources. And hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of team members is the number we've helped with their FMLA and personal leave of absence needs over the last 12 months. My number is 13,000, which is how many cyber attacks we have prevented with Mimecast in fiscal year 2021. The Joint Tech Applications team has been able to close 3,780 tickets in fiscal year 2021. And 1,301 is the number of businesses we partnered with to provide them COVID-19 information and PPE to keep their staff and their customers safe. Tech PMO completed 35 projects in support of the enterprise and the community last year, and many more ongoing. Over 800 people participated in this year's engagement opportunities, a central health record, learning how Travis County residents with low income can get health care, and providing input through surveys, telephone interviews, community conversations, and public hearings. $506 million. That's the amount approved by our Board of Managers and the Travis County Commissioners for the FY22 budget with a tax rate of 0.111814 cents per $100 of taxable value. That's Central Health's largest budget ever, and we can't wait to use it to improve the lives of Travis County residents. 4.5% is about what the average taxpayer in Travis County pays of their annual property taxes to Central Health. In an effort to increase access to specialty care, Central Health has budgeted an additional $3.2 million in specialties such as endocrinology, rheumatology, and neurology in the next fiscal year. Three, this year we are constructing, planning, and designing three new health and wellness centers in Eastern Travis County, Hornsby Bend, Del Valley, and Colony Park. 1.7 million, that's the increase next year in the budget for the health care for the homeless, including medical respite, street medicine, wound care, and more. And 1,000 is our goal for the number of involved community members providing feedback through multiple platforms for fiscal year 2022. Through our community conversations, community health champions program, online platforms, and advisory committees, we want to hear from community members like you. 97% of the FY22 central health budget is dedicated to health care delivery. Services include preventative care, clinical care, hospital services, and more. Our support team has fielded over 40,000 calls from enterprise users in 2021. As the enterprise grows in 2022, one of our goals is to reduce wait times by offering automated, easy to use solutions for passive resets and unlocks. 115, that's how many Boomi integration processes we developed in fiscal year 2021. And our goal is to develop another 100 to 125 integration processes in fiscal year 2022. 1.4 million. That's the number of people we reached on social media this year. And in FY22, we plan to reach even more. 154. That's how many videos we were able to post to YouTube last year. These videos range from our board meetings, town halls, community conversations, patient stories, healthy chef videos, and much more. Next year, we're looking forward to surpass that. So let us know if you have any ideas and keep up the great work. By the numbers. As you can see, we've had some great successes in the past year and this most current year, and we're gonna to continue to build on those successes. 
including increasing our service presence in Eastern Travis County, increasing our investments in primary and specialty care. And why is that? So that people can live the healthiest life possible.